Hey guys, now in today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new storage solution from TerraMaster. This is an eight bay SSD storage solution that has a total capacity of 64 terabytes. It's ultra compact, it's ultra quiet, and it's running their latest and newest operating system. First, let's check it out. That's more like it. Check this guy out. Yeah, almost the size of my hand. <laughs> and this can be connected to your network and it is ultra quiet. It's gonna have all the wonderful software solutions that you have available within the TerraMaster ecosystem. You'll be able to do backups. You'll be able to do syncing of drives, both locally and to the cloud with this little guy. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now we're taking a look at the F8 SSD Plus and the eight stands for eight bay. And this is an all SSD solution which is, means this thing is gonna be ultra fast. And I just wanna flip over a couple sides so you can see some of the core features that they have here. First of all, you have a 10 gigabit connection. You basically have great software uh, and it's also tool free, no screwdrivers, nothing that you have to do in order to be able to connect things. You have their latest operating system, TOS 6. It has eight slots that you can use. And again, this thing is ultra quiet. You really have to see it to understand the capabilities. So let's take a look at the actual hardware itself. We'll go into the software and we'll continue to talk about what my experience has been and why I think this is such a great solution. Now I've had NAS solutions, boy, for a long time. And I've never seen anything this small, this compact that has this much storage. Uh, here's my hand and you can see how big this solution is. Look how narrow it is, super duper narrow. Right, And there's really not much to this device outside of really the, the base necessary in order to store the actual memory and then cooling itself. On the back, you'll see right here, you have two USB-A uh, ports. You then also have here a Ethernet out, super fast, um, USB-C at the top. You also then have HDMI out, right? So you can actually use this, um, you know, and not so much as a PC, but if you wanna have a video uh, component to it, you can in your power solution. All these are again in this compact frame. Now by simply removing one screw, this little guy right here, you push up like this, and then this is where you get to see everything that's going on here. So there's not a lot here, right? So look at all the bays you have here, and then you have all these bays over here, and then obviously this has its own, uh, I would say, memory, because it does have a pretty fantastic processor. And we're gonna be going over the specs and a little bit more detail really shortly. But I wanted to get you straight to the product because it's an amazing product, ultra quiet and also ultra fast. So uh, pretty much as you can see here, everything is really using your hand. So if you wanna be able to remove a drive, all you have to do is screw this off, plug it in. And you'll notice that here you have your drives on one side, and then here you have support for even more. Pretty straightforward type uh, solution when you look at the hardware. All it really has is the power button on top, and that's it. Now, before taking a look at the operating system and just the overall experience that you'll get with this uh, solution, I wanted to just review at a high level some of the specs that I think are really stand out on the product. Uh, first of all, we're taking a look at again at the F8 SSD Plus. And as you saw, this thing is incredibly tiny and it has a lot of expansion. And a couple of things that to note is that it also has a processor, which is one thing I wanted to make sure that you guys all really took note of. Intel Core i3, eight core, eight threads, which makes this when it comes to retrieving content as well as storing, synchronizing, cloud sync, all the features that you would expect coming from a NAS, really liquid, it's super fluid, and you don't really feel any kind of stuttering or latency with the system. Now, it does have, again, you know, a decent GPU as well, and as you can see, it can support up to eight M.2 uh, memory uh, cards or, or chips in there. And I really like, again, the speed that we saw here. So the highlights, again, great processing, super smart, also, you just don't hear it. So typically I would have my NAS in my wire closet, but if you wanna have this closer to a PC for whatever reason, it's not gonna bother you. It is super quiet. Now from an expansion perspective, you can get up to 64 terabytes of space uh, storage on this unit. 
And again, that's all going to be at the fastest possible speeds because let's face it, you know, as you start looking at your NVMEs, these little guys are super fast. So having that type of capacity and also the speed that comes from an M.2 SSD is pretty spectacular. Now, the other thing I found pretty interesting is that you can expand the solution, right? So this could be an expansion solution as well. So if you, this is not the first time that you have a NAS and you basically have like something like the D8 hybrid, you can connect it to it. So, you know, that 64 plus the max capacity that you have in the D8 hybrid of 128 gig or terabytes in this case is pretty, again, amazing when you think about the combination of two. So this is something that you can really look at combining both of them together. Either you could start here and add Add this or if you've started here and you want to add this. Now this is TOS 6.0 and keep in mind that this platform is still in beta and I'll show you some of the things about this uh, solution that I really like. It is incredibly easy to use. Every The setup process is, I don't even know if you want to even call it a setup process because it's so easy, but it is very graphical, very simple. You don't have to be someone who's an expert, which anytime you think about an ass solution, there is a certain level of intimidation because you think that you have to be really technical. But I just want to show you here some of the um, UI. So these are the apps that I've been really interacting with. So I use TerraSync. So we have a, a lot of my YouTube content as well as some of the business content. I do a lot of uh, 3D printing and laser engraving. So all those files are being um, backed up um, in the solution. And we're backing up both to the storage drive local, and then we're also backing up to the cloud as well. So we're doing, uh, it's almost like disaster recovery or disaster redundant uh, type solution. So I'm scanning local drive on my Mac and other devices, bringing them into my storage solution. And then that storage solution is backing up with the cloud. So you see, I have two solutions, TerraSync, which is for my desktops, and then CloudSync, which takes <clears throat> what I have, uh, <clears throat> So I have two solutions, TerraSync, which synchronizes my desktop, and then I have CloudSync, which takes what I have on my NAS and syncs it with the cloud. This is, again, giving me some really nice uh, data protection in my mind outside of the data protection that you get from the solution itself. Right, let's go ahead and take a look at the App Center. I want to show you that for a couple seconds before we go into anything else. Now, the App Center is, think about almost like a Play Store or a marketplace for different apps. And the cool thing about this is that you could basically search by category or just type in a search. And you can see um, all of the apps that we have here. So, like, for example, if I was looking for something for backup, all I have to do is type in backup, and it's going to give me everything that is backup. If I am looking for, let's say, uh, let's try Plex, right? That's something that... A lot of people use, I have this as well. I don't have it on this box, but you could actually turn this device into a streaming solution. So all your movies, all your audio, things you'd be able to download them, and then more importantly, access them remotely as well. So a lot of functionality here, a lot of things that you can choose uh, choose from. And let me go ahead and pull this out of here. And then what we'll do is we'll, you'll notice all the options that we have. Here's some business solutions if there's anything available. And keep in mind that you know this solution is still very, very new, and meaning that the operating system. So what you see is still being improved. Now, from an installation perspective, these are the core things that I use, right? So I like backup. Uh, I'm not using this for a, a media server. I have another Terramaster solution where I have that as a media server. But this solution right here for me is really for business usage. I have a share, I, and then I'm also doing my backups. And let me show you some of the settings that I have there. Now, as I go into the TerraSync software or the app, right, that's on my NAS, a couple of things I can look at. I have files, right? So I have some print files, some things for running our business, and then I have a staging area that is a shared drive. And this has files in it. Each one of these has uh, things going on. You can also establish a team folder, favorites, recycle bin, things of this nature. You can see uh, the connected clients. Right now I'm disconnected for this review, but I could, uh, if I was connected, this would say online. And then you know any kind of team for folders that you have, as well as versioning, uh, can be established here in any kind of port access if you need it. Now, the cool thing about this solution, let me show you how this is uh, working, is that I have a couple of these drives, you know, this is uh, on my Mac, and this is also on the Mac. And what I'm doing is I'm just 
as changes happen on the Mac, it gets downloaded to the uh, TerraSync. So this is happening automatically. And you can see that it's up to date and everything is online. If it wasn't, it'll tell you on the screen. If it's paused, it's gonna tell you on the screen as well. And the thing is that for, for us and the way we use the system, Having uh, having the our creation, which takes place on the Mac, either videos or these type of template files that are used for our laser engraving business, and having them backed up automatically two ways makes it really, really convenient. Now, combining TerraSync with also CloudSync is really convenient because, again, this backs up here, and then this backs it to the cloud for me. Now, under settings, you basically have where you can create users, you can create shelled folders, you can create remote uh, folders, you can, you can work with the applications, you know, media. There's a lot of things that you can explore. And you'll notice again, um, high definition, I would say, uh, graphics and imagery that make it super easy to configure. You don't really need technical skills to work on this. Now in the overview section, you can see how long the platform has been up, how long your NAS has been up. You can also then see things like this. We did talk about CPU, memory usage, volume usage device temperature, and then you'll find also IP address information further down that I'm not gonna go into. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.